Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the commanding officer, Officer Cannon School, Colonel David C. Hyman, welcome to the Officer Cannon School completion ceremony for Platoon Leaders Class Juniors Company I. Please rise for the invocation given by Chaplain Lieutenant Jaden Hartsuff, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. Let us pray. O oh God, as our nation begins to mark the anniversary of our bold claim of independence and honor the drumbeat of freedom still beating in our hearts, we gather before you in these hallowed hills of Quantico, where determination, grit, and faithfulness come to be tested and reinforced. We stand before you now with a healthy sense of pride in these young women and men who have struggled to demonstrate and prove the exemplary character and strength of body, mind, and spirit that are required to serve one day at the tip of our nation's spear as leaders of Marines and officers of this bold and courageous Corps. We thank you, gracious God, for seeing them safely to this milestone on that noble journey and for planting in them the seeds of honor, courage, and commitment that must take root and flourish if they are to serve and advance the causes of freedom, justice, and peace. We thank you for giving them a dedicated cadre of instructors and staff who have led by example, tirelessly embodying the highest and sacrificing both themselves and their families to foster this next generation's learning, confidence, and growth. And we thank you for giving these candidates the family, friends, and mentors who have nurtured and encouraged them along the way, and whose love and support will accompany them through all the challenges ahead. Guide, protect, and bless each one of these candidates as they navigate the individual paths that lie before them once again. Help them make good decisions and stay on course. And then return them to these hills, we pray you, even stronger and more motivated than they are now, with extra measures of endurance and commitment to finish what they have begun. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Today's ceremony begins with the introduction of staff in support of Company I. Drill instructors leave an indelible impression on young Americans wherever Marines are born by fulfilling an essential and demanding role. They transform young men and women into smartly disciplined, physically fit, basically trained Marines who are thoroughly indoctrinated in love of Corps and country. They demand of them and demonstrate by their own example the highest standards of personal conduct, morality, and professional skill. Drill instructors serve as sergeant instructors at Officer Cannon School and must use their unique talents, skills, and experience to screen and evaluate leadership potential in their officer candidates. While not creating basic Marines, the discipline and understanding of ethos of the Marine Corps being instilled in the candidates is critical to the future of the Corps. Equally important is the awesome responsibility they assume by representing the staff non-commissioned officer corps to a new generation of Marine leaders. The officers beside them are the platoon commanders who are leaders chosen from every element of the Marine Corps for their moral, mental, physical, and leadership abilities. Their performance of these qualities represents our school's motto, Ductus Exemplo, which is Latin for lead by example. Through the inspiring leadership and mentorship of their platoon staff, the candidates of platoon leaders class juniors have successfully completed a challenging program of instruction over the past six weeks. They have hiked more than 15 miles, ran 50 miles, received 40 hours of academic instruction, conducted 10 hours of close order drill, and received countless hours of mentorship from their platoon staff. The men and women standing in front of you are the sergeant instructors and platoon commanders who push these candidates past their perceived limitations to help them accomplish their mission of becoming a United States Marine. Ladies and gentlemen, the sergeant instructors and platoon commanders of Company I.
Each cycle, among a group of highly professional staff non-commissioned officers, one sergeant instructor distinguishes themselves from their peers. This sergeant instructor is the one who, in the opinion of their seniors and peers, best demonstrates the balance between taskmaster and mentor. The hospital corpsman is also a vital part of the staff here at Officer Candidate School, providing quality care for both the staff and the candidates. The first relationship between the hospital corps and the United States Marines was established in 1898, when hospital corpsmen were assigned to the Marine Corps Expeditionary Battalion, which landed at Guantanamo Bay during the Spanish-American War. The Navy Hospital Corps is the only all-enlisted corps in the United States military, and one of the oldest ratings in the Navy. It's also the most decorated. 22 medals of honor have been awarded to the corpsmen. Corpsmen have become an integral part of the Marine Corps. They go everywhere the Marines go, supporting every mission. Among a skilled group of corpsmen, one distinguishes themselves from their peers. Additionally, each cycle, among the group of highly professional academic instructors, one is identified as the instructor who has distinguished them themselves from their peers. These Marines and sailors are the ones who, in the opinion of their seniors and peers, as well as the candidates, best demonstrate the passing of knowledge between instructor and student. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Hyman and Sergeant Major Beckett, the commanding officer and Sergeant Major of Officer Candidate School, will now present these awards. In recognition of his performance, Staff Sergeant Arroyo of Company I will receive the Marine Corps Association Outstanding Drill Instructor of the Cycle Award. In recognition of his performance, H.N. Mesa of Company I will receive the Marine Corps Association Outstanding Corpsman of the Cycle Award. In recognition of his performance, First Sergeant Goldthwaite of Lima Company will receive the Marine Corps Association Academic Instructor of the Cycle Award. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for these Marines and Sailors.
approaching the reviewing stand are to be honored for their outstanding achievement while undergoing training and evaluation at Officer Candidate School over the past six weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Hyman and Sergeant Major Beckett, the commanding officer and Sergeant Major of Officer Candidate School, will now present these awards. And salute. Good morning, sir. Ready? Two. United States Marine Corps Commandant's Trophy for PLC. The United States Marine Corps Commandant Trophy is awarded to the candidate with the overall highest average in the platoon leader's class. The trophy was initiated in 1957 to recognize members of the platoon leaders class who have distinguished themselves at summer training. The candidate's university will receive the traveling trophy when a representative of the commandant presents it to that university. The platoon leaders class recipient for platoon leaders class juniors is candidate Henley from 4th platoon who attends University of Arkansas at Little Rock. He attained an overall average of 94.44%. Gung Ho Award. The Gung Ho Award is presented to the candidate who is voted most gung ho by their peers in the company. The Gung Ho Award recipient for Platoon Leaders Class Juniors is candidate Hennett from 3rd Platoon. Royal Marine Trophy. The Royal Marine Trophy is a revolving award presented to the platoon of the platoon leaders class juniors that attains the highest total points for physical training. The company I recipient is 5th platoon. Presenting the award is Color Sergeant Burley, Royal Marine Physical Trainer Advisor for Officer Candidate School. Officer Candidate School Physical Fitness Award. The Officer Candidate School Physical Fitness Award is presented to the candidates who have achieved the highest physical training average. The Platoon Leaders Class Juniors recipients are candidate Loudermilk from First Platoon. She attained a physical fitness average of 100%. Candidate Lopez from 1st Platoon, she attained a physical fitness average of 100%. And candidate Shelson from 4th Platoon, he attained a physical fitness average of 99.22%. Additional awards. 
Additional Platoon Achievement Awards were awarded following key events during training. The company Close Order Drill Award was awarded to 4th Platoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our award recipients. Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer of Officer Candidate School, Colonel Hyman. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Still morning, it is. Hey, for all the uh, fellow colonels, captains, sergeants major, master gunnery sergeants, other distinguished guests, and families and friends of platoon leaders class, juniors, 2022, first increment, welcome to Brownfield. Uh, the home of Officer Cannon School, and the place where we make Marine officers. I am extremely grateful for two reasons that you're here today. The first reason I'm grateful for you, for you being here today is, it's been three years since we've been able to welcome the families and the friends and guests to a platoon leaders class juniors completion ceremony. We have pushed through that period of time, and now it's, I'm honored, I'm pleased to see the stands today are filled with the family members and the guests and the supporters of these candidates. The second reason I'm grateful that you're here today, it's not lost on me that it's Independence Day weekend. And on Monday, we'll celebrate the birth of our nation. And while Officer Candidate School knows a thing or two about creating stress in the lives of the candidate, we pale in comparison to the stress that I-95 is going to cause you this weekend. <laughs> For the families and the friends who are here, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. And thank you for all the support throughout the years of getting your son and your daughter to this point. Thank you for raising young men and women of character. We can't issue these candidates character. We can only hope to develop their character with our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. But I humbly recognize in order to grow and develop an ethical leader, it starts at home, and it starts with moms and dads. So please, moms and dads, give yourself a round of applause. Also, this day when 
not be possible if it weren't for the true professionals, our civilian staff, our Navy sailors, our shipmates, and the hundreds of Marines who descend upon Brown Field in the summer that train over 1,200 candidates across six companies to forge young men and women into a commission officer that one day will have the privilege of leading Marines. And today I want to recognize the Indian Company staff who spent hours and hours away from family, giving back not only to the Marine Corps, but giving themselves to every candidate that's in front of you today so that they may one day fill the shoes and uphold the honor and tradition of being a leader and a servant to Marines in the future. So please give me a round, give a round of applause to the India Company staff. I normally don't do this, but I want to recognize two Marines. So I recognize we're in the digital age. Years ago when I came through OCS, some of you went through your training. What you did away at training was something that you only wrote home about. This day and age, there's an ability for you to stay connected with your candidate and perhaps digitally experience what he or she goes through at Officer Candidate School. And what that does for us, it allows you to continue to support not only your candidate, but it allows you to continue to support and trust your Marine Corps. And as two Marines I want to recognize, Sergeant Cho and PFC Reyes, those are the Marines who shared all the pictures on Facebook. Those are the Marines that I've heard your feedback because you can't find your candidate. <laughs> They've covered 30 miles worth of trails and networks, network trails, 3,000 square miles, just to keep track of your candidates so that you can stay connected with some of the tough training that they're going through. So please, round of applause. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask for your forgiveness as I turn my back to talk to the candidates one last time before they leave. Because every one of these candidates is anxious to hear their final command, which is dismissed. Without further ado, Good morning, India Company. Six weeks ago, you arrived here on a journey to become a United States Marine Corps officer. Many of you showed up with doubt. Many of you showed up wondering if you got yourself into something you're not sure what you're going to do. But I will tell you the fact that you're in the formation today is testament that you have the potential to one day have the honor and privilege to lead a Marine. This weekend when you leave here, I'd ask that you think back and reflect on your training and why you came here. You have faced temporary adversity. You have stared down the wolf of doubt. You have learned what it takes to endure and suffer through mental and physical discomfort. But your journey isn't completed. All of you have to go back to college. All of you, in order to become a United States Marine Corps officer, will have to return and take a second lap through Brown Field. In the treacherous waters that you're going to have to navigate in college, I'd ask you that you remain committed to your goal, which is to one day lead a Marine, and you allow the warrior ethos that you learned about that's been instilled in you and our core values guide you in each one of your decisions going forward. In several years, you will have to make the decision to come back here. 
You have proven yourselves. You have proven yourselves worthy to come back here on these hallowed grounds and earn the Eagle Golden Acre, but you're going to have to put in work. The Sergeant Major and I are extremely proud of you. We congratulate you on completing PLC Juniors. But we all recognize you're only at halftime. In order for you to become a Marine officer, Stay true to your commitment and come back to PLC seniors. And do not ever, ever allow yourself to give in to self-doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2022 Platoon Leaders Class Juniors First Increment, your candidates.